Hi, ladies. Welcome to our webinar. This is Heather Pillow, Executive Director with Pure Romance. And I am so excited today because we are going to talk about a topic that I am terrible at. I have no idea how to do it. And we have someone who is an expert that's going to share all of her wisdom with us and help answer all of your questions. So um, I am delighted that we have Angela Dodona with us out of Texas. A little couple of facts about her. You can see her cute little face there. Angela has been a consultant with Pure Romance for eight years now. Four of those eight years, the last four, she has been a board of director member and has done more than $100,000 in sales while juggling two small children. Technically, she has three, one's grown, and then she has a three-year-old and a four-year-old at home with her as well. So um, learning how to do these virtual Facebook parties has been invaluable to her business, and she's very particular about them. So. I'm going to turn it over to her and let her give you all of her knowledge. Angela, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn over um, hosting capabilities to you so that you can do some screen sharing. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. You are officially the host. Okay. Perfect. All right, so welcome ladies. I'm super excited to kind of share some of this fun stuff with you. Um, kind of a little bit about me. Uh, like Heather said, I have a three and a four year old. They actually just turned three and four, so they're very young. Um, I do a lot of parties per month as well as running my team and all that other stuff. So this was kind of something that um, came to play and I've learned a lot by trial and error. Um, so you'll kind of hear some of the things that I have redone that didn't work out, um, but I love it. Now, um, Heather had asked me how many of these that I do per month, and I only do one per month um, unless I'm doing a fundraiser, and then that's gonna be a totally different thing, same style party, except they're gonna get a little more of the hostess credit to go towards their cause. Um, and those are just as successful. I'm just not making as much profit at those. So um, a little bit about the parties. Um, I'll kind of go through the order and then I'll do some screen sharing so you can see one of my actual events. Um, so what I do is I create the event. I um, will find I only do a, a virtual party unless it's a fundraiser. If it's a regular virtual party, I only do a party if I have three to five hostesses. Um, and that came from trial and error because at the beginning I was doing one hostess and you know you know how that goes and yeah I would sit in front of the computer and if nobody bought I felt like that was time away from my family and our time is our money so we want to make sure we utilize it wisely so my rule of thumb was I had to have three to five hostesses because if one or two flaked out I still had some good stuff going on so um so I, I ask for those those hostesses, and the best part about a virtual party is it doesn't matter where somebody lives. I literally, because of virtual parties, have um, clients throughout the whole U.S., a lot of the times from virtual parties. So that's a great way. Now, the very first one I did, I hosted it myself just to kind of get it going and do a practice thing, and I let my VIP ladies know that I was doing this, and it was a practice run. Um, I create the event. And um, I also set the date. I go through and I look at my calendar about a month or two in advance and I preset those dates that I want to do. So I only do, usually I'll do a Wednesday, um, paydays, Friday. So sometimes if they're like, oh, I don't get paid till Friday, I'll run their card because I'm not handing them product that night. So um, I'd rather do that than to not have a sell. So, um, that's kind of what I do is I get them, I create the event, I send each of them a private message um, to let them know what my expectations of them are and what they can expect from me. Um, now, you want to make the event name a catchy name, I call mine, you'll see in just a minute, PJ and Pillow Talk, you can call it anything you want to. Make it catchy because people get so many event invites, you want to make it fun to where at least they're going to go in and look at it because they're going to be like, what the heck is this? Um, so then um, after I send their message, I let them know that they're to invite all their friends and their family, ladies 18 and older. Um, and then we kind of do that domino effect. I have, you know, and then I'll run contests and stuff for them to invite friends. So you can truly expand your client base here. Um, now, again, I set the date. I usually do a Wednesday because I'm partying on the weekends. Um, 
and I, you know, that that's the date that just works for me because I usually don't do parties on Wednesdays. Um, I will promote the event with some sneak peeks and then some fun facts up until the date of the party. Now, this is very different. Um, if you've ever been invited to like a 31 party or a Cincy party, it is very different from that because I pick the date and I pick the time. And so I'll kind of walk you through that as I do um, the screen share. Um, and then um, I'm going to kind of walk you through everything um, at this point and kind of explain it as we go. So I'm going to turn this over and walk you through this. Okay. So you can kind of look at this event. Um, I did a fun little cover photo um, and all of that. And you're going to see that it was, this one was one um, that I did because it was Valentine's. I did more in-home parties, so I only had two hostesses for this one. The good thing is this, one of my hostesses, she can do a catalog party, and her parties are like 1800 a catalog party. That's very much not typical. So I knew with having her that I would have, you know, pretty good, um, even if I didn't have a lot of ladies, that I would have a lot of cells. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see, um, I come down, I use the same verbiage for every single party that I do. I just kind of go in, and I walk them step by step what to expect on this one. Uh, this one, again, I did in February, so I have done some things um, a little bit different since then. So um, I'll kind of walk you through that as well. So um, you just kind of walk them through what to expect, how to RSVP, that it is virtual only, how they're going to place an order, and then how the party works. Now this party I did, you're going to notice the party time frame is only 30 minutes. So I'm literally only away from my family for about an hour because they have 30 minutes for the demo in the cells and then um, they're going to have about 30 minutes to order. Um, sometimes I'll allow a little bit longer because I know we're on different time zones. I have people in California who are two hours behind, um, but I try to be respectful of the East Coast ladies because I know they're an hour ahead. So sometimes if it's an East Coast hostess, I'll do 8 o'clock. So you want to kind of do that and make sure you specify what uh, time zone that you are doing it in, because that was a mistake that I made at the beginning as well, because you will have people from all over. Um, you want to make sure that you put from the comfort of your own home and, and kind of remember to remind them of that, because a lot of the times when they see the event, they're like, oh, I can't go, I'm out of state. So you kind of walk them through all of this right here. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the very bottom because... Um, that's kind of the order it goes and when people buy stuff. So what I do is I create the event. I go ahead and I add the hostesses and then let them just start inviting. Um, then, so you're going to see that this was, um, this was the day up. So you're going to see some things kind of bumped around, but so what I do up until that time is I do some sneak, sneak peeks. Now what I do is I actually do a video of myself. I've gotten very into doing videos so that they can see me and relate to me. Um, and so in the video, I kind of go over what you see in the description of what the party is. So in the video, I'm telling them, hi, my name's Angela. How long have I been with Pure Romance? Um, you're going to have a, gl a glass. Thanks for joining us. Um, and then I tell them who the hostesses are. So if there's, you know, three hostesses, this is thanks for coming to Jill, you know, and I kind of let them know what they need to do. I set the expectations from the beginning. So there are three to five hostesses. So what they have to do when people place orders is they have to tell me who their hostess is. So when they private message me, it's their responsibility to tell me who their hostess is. Now you're going to have that one or two that you have to ask or you have to see who the mutual friends are. You might have to backtrack to see who the mutual friend is. But I've never had a problem not figuring out who the hostess was. So you're going to see that I kind of do sneak peeks um, all the way up here kind of let them know, you know, what to expect. You can tell this was an older one. Um, so I go through all that. Then the day of, I will, you know, let them know one hour till showtime. And then um, just keep talking it up and do some fun stuff. You can do a contest to get ladies to invite more people. 
Now, I give them about a five minute grace period, and then what I do is I take my demo, this, is, this was just something that I loaded up to YouTube, and I use this video for everything. I use it for a training tool, I use it for ladies who are interested in the business who um, have never been to a party. I send them this so they can see what, what it is we do. Now, this is a mild only demo. It's about 12 minutes long. I wanted to keep it short so I didn't lose their attention. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just the mild part. And then once they're done with that, then I kind of go in and I do anywhere, I do about 10 items on sale. So you're going to see this one. Um, and if you've ever done a flash sale, I do not do flash sale prices on these. Um, and I don't do all the top sellers because they're going to buy them anyway if they've watched your demo and fallen in love with the stuff and you've done the previews before. So you're going to see I kind of do a few things on sale. Now, I am using Scentshare now, which um, where has that been all, my, all of my life? Um, because I'll tell you how that's kind of changed my whole concept um, with doing um, these as well. So you'll see that I went and I do a lot of discontinued stuff so that I can get rid of that stuff as well. And I call those the bonus buys. So I do two bonus buys for every party. And those are the last two items that I post on sale. And that's what I have a ton of or that's discontinued. And they think they're getting a great deal. I do the signature um, chart so they can see what the scents smell like because obviously they can't smell them out of the bottle. Um, and then a lot of the times now what I'm doing um, is I'm going through, let me see if I can pull up one of my recent parties. Um, While you're doing that, can I ask a couple of questions? Absolutely. Okay, so the three to five hosts, do they know each other or no? No. No, okay, so they these don't. Are just posts that are willing to do the exact same date, but their friends are all mishmashed in there. Yes, because they only get one date. That's the only date, and if that date doesn't work for them, they have to pick a different date. So, um, so yeah, so I pick the date, and most of them are pretty good with that. And how do you do? You promote this? Do you hand pick who you offer this to? What I do is, let's say I have somebody that was referred to me that lives out of town to order. Um, I'm not from the town that I'm originally from, so um, that's kind of how I got started is that back home where I lived five hours ago, I had girls who really wanted parties, but because my weekends are so busy, I really couldn't travel. I couldn't justify traveling down there and losing out on so much per weekend. So um, that's kind of how I started is I started doing that. And then the more you do it, the more clients you get out of state. And it's, it's, it's almost like a domino effect. Or for the ladies who use that excuse, my house isn't big enough. Um, I work too much. There is truly no excuse as to why somebody can't host a party now. Got it. Awesome. Thank you. Did you have another question? Um, I will, but I'll, I'll save those. Okay. Ahead. So this one right here I did as a fundraiser party. Now, here's the catch with, um, here's why I love since share now, and here's the catch with the new Facebook rules. With the new Facebook rules, you can only invite X amount of people, and you can kind of see this over here. So literally what I did for her is I created two events on the exact same day at the exact same time so that she could literally go in and invite everybody. And so what I did with SenseShare is I was able to go in, and you can see right here that I was posting stuff in SenseShare. Um, and of course, this is our newer, you know, this is this was a newer one that I did. These were the bonus buys that you'll see. They got those. Um, and you'll see, let me go down and you can see the video that I actually posted. But um, and you kind of you can do something like this that kind of reminds them parties in ten minutes get ready. Um, Censure is amazing if you're doing a lot of these. Um, let's see. I let them know what um, pure romance is because you will get a lot of people invited that have no clue what pure romance is. And then when I did a fundraiser, I kind of told her story. Um, let me see if I see the video. You always everything you do, you want to make sure that you put your website on. Um, I introduce myself here. So you, the more you can, the more they can see you and connect with you, the better, the better it is. Um, you'll see the video, uh, but you can, if you're not comfortable, I never do live. I never do a live demonstration 
And that's because I have two young kids. Plus, when you do a video, I redo my video three times a year when we do our product launches. So the more you can utilize your time, um, the, the more profit you're going to make. And I have kids running in and out of the room. So I just, this works for me, and I can use this video for so many different um, things, like I said. So if you're not comfortable making, you know, a 12-minute demo video, what you could do is also do clips. You could do, a, you know, a little video clip of whipped. I just like this because I let them know I'm going to start the video at 9.05. The video is going to run 12 minutes. I'm going to run sales for, you know, about 11, 10 to 11 minutes, and then the party's over. And that will be your time to order and private message me and ask any questions. Now, so, do you have a video for toys as well? I don't. I, I've never done my toy uh, demo on video at all. So do they buy those or no? They do. They actually do. Um, when they do, and the reason I didn't is I was, uh, you know, when my son was, um, well, he's 19, almost 20 now, but I had gone through a custody battle, so I was scared about posting any toys, but I don't feel like that has hindered the sales of my toys at all. Got it. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's gone pretty good. My average party for, um, like this one right here, this is one of my more recent ones, 645, didn't I? You remember, they're inviting everybody, you know, and the people are inviting people we had to. And I actually wrote it down over here, what I did. It was, I had 16 orders, and it was over $1,500 in retail. Nice. So um, my highest one was 3000 And that's about average. If you've got three to five hostesses, you're looking at about 1000 minimum for these. So um, all of this is posted, the video goes live, and um, I'm assuming that then they're, they're sending orders to you. Is there a reason that you have them message you their order as opposed to just placing it on your website? I do because I would rather do one big order um, because chances are I have a party that I have parties that weekend as well. So I would rather do one big order and maximize my profit on that. Got it. And. Uh, let's see. How can you tell when you have multiple posts when I saw one of your little memes was let's um, have 48 hours where you can add people we'll have a contest whoever adds the most people gets a prize how can yes. you tell who has added whom they have to message me and tell me exactly how many that they added got it okay uh, let's see okay that's all the questions I, I think I have so far now um, these little memes that you're posting, are these done in the weeks leading up to it, or are they all done the day of? Usually I will create the event a week to two ahead of time, um, and you're going to see that was the actual date. So some of these I'll do up until the time, because um, this was that day before the party started. I tried to really, the, a couple of days before and the day of, really talk it up. Up until then, it's maybe like one product every day. Um, not always a product, but like introducing myself, um, doing a video, um, talking about, you know, our hostesses and how excited they are. Um, you're going to see this. Um, don't forget, this kind of tells again about what pure romance is, about myself. Um, and you want to make sure when you're doing sneak peeks that you're showing like all aspects of everything that you're doing like for new moms. Um, so I don't, and I'm trying to see. So you'll see this was, the party was actually August 25th. So this one I didn't have as much time to promote. So probably, I think I did this one a week ahead of time. So um, I think a week or two ahead of time is perfect timing. Got it. And um, let's see. So they message you, you're going back and forth with their order, doing some upselling. And they have to tell you who their host is. How long do you keep these parties open? The longest I keep it open um, is till the next day at noon. Um, and I can go up and kind of show you what I posted. And I let them know. I know Friday is payday for a lot of people. So if they need to, if they need me to run their card. So you'll see this. I will keep open until noon tomorrow. If anyone needs card run Friday, I can do that. But all orders need to be in by noon. Got it. Um, so I kind of let them know that um, 
just because you don't want to lose that sale because they get paid on Friday and you did the party on Wednesday and you're not giving that product to them that night. I don't, um, I don't, and I also don't give the hostess credit until probably Friday night to Saturday morning um, is when I'll contact her after I've run every single card. Got it. Do you mind scrolling up to your details section and going through the, the um, steps to participate? Absolutely. So on this part right here, I talk about the 30 minutes and how it's going to last. This was a fundraising party. I let them know it does not matter where they're at in life, married, single, relationship, whatever. We have something for everybody. Steps to participate and just you're going to click attend and you're going to invite. Step two, you're going to grab a drink, put your PJs on, and then I talk about the date and the time, and I make sure to put central standard. Um, if you can't join us, let the hostess know who invited you so she can share. Um, the, the lady who invites the most guests will win a prize, must be 18. This is where I put message me and let me know total number of ladies you invited. Number five, join us here. Again, I reiterate the time and the date, and then I give them my website link so that they can see um, they can go ahead and preview stuff that maybe I'm not showing or the toys or anything like that um, how they're gonna place an order with me and I let them know again that it comes directly to them it's not going to the hostess first because these people don't know us a lot of the times um, a lot of the people who join these like I said are you know brand new to us so we want to make sure that they know even though we feel like everybody should know that, but we want to make sure that we reiterate it. This is very confidential and no one's going to know. Um, just let me know who your hostess is. And then I just put sell, watch for some sales that night. Um, I let them know the party closes. Once you place your order, you have 24 hours to get your credit card information to me. Or if, you, if you're if you one who does invoices, you can do that too. And then I let them know products will be shipped within 24 hours if I have them in stock, and if not, 10 to 14 days. And then I just put my information right here. Awesome. Okay. Now, um, has there, uh, clearly this has been a learning process for you. Are there mistakes that you've made where you're like, oh my gosh, this is a huge pitfall, make sure you don't do this, or anything, um, words of caution? The biggest part for me was only having one hostess um, and just being firm on this is the date that I have. This is the only date because sometimes what happens would be where they're like, well, I can't do that date. Can I do this date? So I'd be like, okay, so I'd have one hostess on one date and one hostess on the next. And then if they both flop, then I felt like it was a waste of time. So I felt like putting all of them into one has been a huge benefit for me um, and me picking the date and not, uh, not veering from that. Like that's the date I have available and that's it. And um, again, you know, the one thing that I love now that I truly, truly wish I had found out sooner, but you know, I'm not a tech guru, so I don't like change with that with since share. I think that's been, um, if you're doing anything virtual, um, you know, even having a team and all the other stuff, um, it's been amazing for that. I agree. I use it religiously. Best $10 a month you'll spend in business, I think. Yes, and I paid a year ahead of time, and so they even gave me a discount. So I was like, I have to do it now. Nice. But I, I just feel like because I utilize online, I utilize my VIP page groups so much that I'm able to, like next week when we're in Chicago, I don't have to worry. Everything will be set up and ready to post, and I can have one. So, yeah. Perfect. Um, what do you find to be your average sales for your online ones? Online, usually anywhere from $75 to $100. Awesome. Okay. And then you'll have your random people who have been to a party. Of course it is. I, I, I would never, and I guess I really want to reiterate that because I tell my new girls that I would never just rely on virtual parties. Like this is something that you want just as an extra, Oh, a party canceled. And this is just an add on bonus. Um, because I think a lot of girls are starting to rely on flash cells and virtual parties and stuff like that. I, I think nothing can replace in home parties. I think this is just a bonus to it. I agree. Yep. I think this, especially, you don't necessarily have a whole lot of this in Texas, but where we are, once we get into the winter, um, we battle with snow and it can be yes. so, so um, detrimental to your business if you have a series of parties canceled, especially during Valentine's season. So I think this will be a really good option as a, a backup. Yes, definitely. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, I think I got all of my questions answered. Let me just look and make sure. And do you mind um, if I follow up with you so that I can share with our team um, sending me a couple of those those cute memes that you made and um, the overall wording so they're not having to retype the whole thing? Absolutely. Awesome. Definitely. Yay! Angela, thank you so much. I cannot thank you. I know you guys are so busy. I can't thank you enough for taking time away from the family and helping us. And I'll get this all uploaded to YouTube and I'll send it to you so you can share it with your team and everybody will be making more money. Perfect. Thank you. And I will see you next week. Thank you. Can't wait to see you. All right. Bye.